So recently I was asked a question by someone who wanted to start actually a digital analytics agency and they sort of asked me what, what, you know, what are the things that they need to be delivering in order to consider themselves a digital analytics agency. So I thought I'd make this video to sort of explain the four key areas I think you should uh, be proficient at in order to start a digital analytics agency. My name is Shawful and in this channel I talk about all things data. Now before we begin, if you're a budding analyst or even a seasoned pro or someone who just has an interest in data, please do subscribe to my channel. Also ring the bell icon so that you stay up to date with all the helpful tips and advice I have to offer. So the four parts to starting a digital analytics agency that you need to be quite good at are as follows. So the first one is that you need to be good at tagging implementation, okay? Now this is the more technical part of being a digital analyst. Now what I find is that digital analysts are either sort of on the technical side or more on the business side which delivering insights, but they all but they both overlap on the reporting side. So normally you need two people or you need a partner or you need to hire someone to do the other bit that you're good that you're not good at. Okay, but generally if one person can do that, that's great, but I find it's very rare that one person can do the whole thing. So generally it's two people, one person like I said on the technical side, one person more on the business side, and they will both overlap on the uh, reporting uh, and analytics side. So the first bit is tagging implementation, that's the technical part, that's the part where you need to understand how to implement the tracking uh, tags on your website or your app so that you can collect the data that you want. Okay, so that's the first part, you need to be able to be good at uh, tracking, uh, implementing tracking tags on your website or on websites and apps okay now if you can't do it then you need to hire someone who does it or have a partner who's good at that side the next part is setting stuff up in Google Analytics okay again that's more on the technical side things like setting up goals conversions um, being making sure that you set up the properties uh, and all that kind of stuff and setting up reports um, so it's slightly more technical you know you may want to be connecting to Looker Studio you may want to be exporting the data to BigQuery I wouldn't worry too much about that now it is something that is a problem actually with GA4 that you can't run a lot of the reports within GA4 you do need to export to BigQuery but like I said someone who's got technical skills will be able to do that quite easily but I wouldn't worry about in the early days because probably a lot of what you can do you can just connect Looker Studio to it and do it but that's the second part the second part is being able to configure uh, Google Analytics itself or Adobe Analytics or, or another analytics solution actually and be able to plug other uh, tools or in, into it or take data out of it so the third part is the reporting and analysis bit of it Okay, so here you would need someone who can come in or yourself to run reports, to run analysis, to look at conversion, to look at goals that have been met, to look at traffic over time, to look at engagement over time, all those things that the business will have. So you will need to make sure that you have someone who, or yourself who can run all those reports and analysis. And really you need someone who's very who has a good understanding of digital data because if you don't understand the digital data you can't run those you won't run the correct report or analysis and then the final bit which is a bit more business focused is generating the insights now if this bit if you're running a digital analytics agency you need to be able to do this bit a lot of digital analysts believe that they don't they believe they can just tag the stuff and generate the reports and let the business run with the data it doesn't always work like that if you are going to run an agency you need to be able to generate insights okay and that's whether that's for marketing for sales for product or from senior management okay they will want to know what does it mean okay so tell me what you're seeing and what does it mean uh, has it changed over time is it good is it bad what does good look like um, if it's good then you know what kind of target should I be setting myself if it's bad how do I change things to to become better so those are the sort of four key areas that you should really um, have competency in in order to set up and run a digital analytics agency the other things that I would also recommend is a b testing so learn how to use uh, a b testing tools so that you can test things within the within the analytics tool so you know clients or customers may want to test uh, different landing pages they may want to test different assets different creatives so you want to be able to help them with that so learn how to do a b testing but like i said i wouldn't put that as part of the core the, the four that i've mentioned are the core um, that will be an additional service the other one is um, learn how you would deliver paid ads now again it's very rare it's not part of digital analytics but sometimes they will ask you oh can you do uh, the the paid digital marketing for me and when they talk about that. they mean just delivering paid ads in terms of uh, paid search in terms of Facebook Twitter Instagram okay and then the final thing which again hangs on to sort of digital analytics agency is SEO can you do SEO as well now with those those three things a B testing uh, paid uh, digital digital paid digital marketing and SEO um, I would recommend that you try and find a partner or have a, 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 a network of people that you could tap into that you could bring them in to do those kind of activities for your 
for your customers. So they work with you to deliver to your customers. Okay, and so therefore you you can provide a more uh, over holistic offering to your customers. So if you are thinking about starting a digital analytics agency, like I said, the four things that you should be focusing on are tagging, implementation, configuring Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics or whatever analytics solution you're using, running reporting and insights, and finally generating in uh, sorry running reporting and analysis, and then finally generating insights. Okay, and then the three ancillary services that you should think about whether you do it yourself or you bring in a network of partners to do it is A B testing, paid digital marketing, and then SEO. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like and share the video. Of course, do subscribe to my channel and please do ring the bell icon so that you stay up to date with all the latest videos I produce. Thank you.